Here's the update on the twin engine Batavis build. I've had the engines together and running uh, for oh, a month or so now, but I haven't had a whole lot of time to work on them. There was a kind of a few flaws in the overall design of uh, how I coupled the two engines together. They're actually joined in the crankshaft by Lovejoy couplers that have keyways milled into the cranks. But uh, when I bolted the engines together, I didn't have an, a spacer around the outside uh, of the two engine cases. So the engines kind of were just sitting on the coupler and could pivot kind of like that, which was really kind of, which was wearing out the uh, bearings and probably going to destroy my cases eventually. So uh, I had this made. This is a steel spacer that um, has a groove on the inside and it was machined to fit the cases. So the cases slide in on either side and come to a rest right here in the middle. And so these these two engines are now completely solidly joined together and they can't flex anymore and the shafts are completely aligned. So I was really, really excited about that. So if you can see up in there, the engines are still at 90, or sorry, 182 degrees offset, which is well, as close as my math got to 180. So you can see them going back and forth like that. And because of the offset, it's really, really, really hard to time. So what I did here is made another modification to the electrical system. So inside, in here, is an internal pickup like a normal PUC uh, CDI uh, with the stator plate. And uh, in order to, so I can adjust the uh, magneto here and the stator plate uh, to time one of the engines. But to time the other engine, what I've done is this is an external pickup off of a scooter. And uh, the pickup actually picks up, you can tell, this welded on tab of steel. And so as it passes around, it gets the charge and sends the other, tells the other cylinder to fire. Now, in order to adjust that, I have this bracket. I can unscrew these two screws here, and then I can adjust the timing accordingly. So that's pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. Um, I've got a couple more things to do to get the bike going. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll uh, be able to mount this back on the bike and get it working again. Although. This cylinder is destroyed, and I need another one. So if anyone has a M48 piston and cylinder they want to throw my way, let me know.